Hello, my name is Barty and welcome to the MySaw Workshop. It's great to have you in the shop with me today. Today we're going to do a little quick shop build for a table or a shelf on the end of the table saw. This will hold the gripper push blocks. It kind of bugs me when they're on the table. So let's go do that project. The idea for this project came from this little shelf that I built for my joiner push blocks. I don't like stuff sitting around on the table saw top. And so I needed something to get these micro jig push blocks off this tabletop. The first step was to work down this one inch Russian birch ply that I had. I'm going to trim a square end on uh, each of these two boards. Then we're going to cut them to length using the preset miter length there. We're going to bring this and we're going to cut a little edge on here and just trim up this edge to make it perfectly parallel to the other side, then we can cut our widths on these two pieces. Waiting for the saw to stop each time, we're going to set the uh, dado position now on the back of this board where the dado is going to be cut in. We're going to trace that around with our woodpecker saddle square so I know where to cut this dado in the there and line the saw up on the marks there. Check the depth, half inch, we're good. So we're just going to do a complete dado cut here. Again, waiting for the saw to stop. And then we're going to set this back again and line up on the other mark. Make a short test cut. Test it with a piece of scrap, looks good. We're going to cut it all the way through. Now I'll try the real piece of board that's going to go into it. And we're a little narrow here. So we'll line it back up and take about another 1 32nd off. Use some sandpaper here and take off the rough edges on this board real quick. So we got a fit there, that's good. Next, this shelf's going to go around that uh, six inch dust collection pipe. So we're marking out the edges of the pipe and transferring that around to the other side with doing a little geometry here with a compass, get the center line and the depth of that the diameter, and then mark this with our compass so we can see where to cut this. Taking our jigsaw here and cutting this out. Our orbital sander here is doing the job. Now I'm using my router here with an eighth inch roundover bit to uh, ease the edges around this cutout. Taking it over to the drill press, we've got to cut four holes, so I'm marking the position of those four holes and lining them up with a square. We need to countersink the washers, so I've got a forger bit there, and we're going to actually hold the board down with the bit and then set the fence against the bit. That's the easiest way then. The depth stop set on this bit so we make it real easy to punch these four countersinks in. This is a 5 16 inch bolt so I'm going after my 5 16 inch drill and a quarter inch drill for the lag bolts on the ends. We're going to drill our 5 16 bolt holes in the middle two, change out and drill the quarter inch holes for the lag bolts in the, on the ends. Not deep enough, reset it. Pre-drill our holes for the lag bolts. Pre-drill our 9 16 inch holes that we're going to go into. Now we're ready to glue this little thing together here. I've got the glue in here and I'm using my brush to uh, smooth it along the edges of the 
of the dado to make sure we've got some room there for glue. Notice I got two clamps that are kind of acting as legs here. It makes this thing real easy to to get the other clamps onto it on the ends there and then one in the middle and get all that tightened up. And we're gonna check it with our square and we're good. So we've got this ready to put in. We've applied three coats of finish to this along the way. And I'm putting these five sixth inch inch bolts into the pre-drilled holes that we cut earlier, tapping them in. And I'm gonna feel back there with my hand and get a bolt and a washer on the back of it. I'm gonna tighten these up. <clears throat> with my little driver and a wrench here. It's a little quarter inch screwdriver handle driver that I've had for ages and this is really good for you doing things like this. Put our lag bolts in. Each end. And we're going to go back and tighten everything back up using a ratchet there on that lag bolt to get it really snug. As you can see it's really sturdy. It's not as sturdy as it can be. I'm putting my push box up there. And here's the glamour shot. Looks pretty good. The grain turned out looking real nice. It's real simple. It's out of the way. And I've got everything off the top of my table saw there. Well, there you go. Turned out to be a pretty nice little quick project. Got the clutter off the top of my table saw. Gives me a place to keep my grippers. I love my grippers. Really the best safety thing on table saw there is. So maybe this will give you an idea of some projects you could do in your shop. Hope it does. I really would appreciate you subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel. It makes me feel good. And there'll be more projects and more videos coming up. Also, uh, check out the MySaw.com website. Lots of projects on there over the past 10 years that I've documented with pictures and, and lots of posts. So thanks for watching today. I really do appreciate it. Thank you.